It's the season for surf, sand, sun, and in the case of one college senior, a shark. Everybody's like, oh my gosh, thank God you're okay. Corey Robertson has one heck of a fishtail that's no tail at all. Here, this is where the big gashes are. Right you can see the teeth marks. They just said it just bit once and then bit twice. I guess. The doctors told her they believe a five foot bull shark may have left behind. It was stinging and then it just hurt like a constant like pain. The University of Houston student has been walking around with this bandage since Memorial Day. The day she was on Follett's Island just east of Surfside swimming with friends. And then like we're talking and then all of a sudden I felt something like jerk me and bite and I was like something just bit me. Shark attacks in water along the Texas Gulf Coast aren't common, but they're not unheard of. According to experts here at the Houston Zoo, it may have been weather conditions or the fact that the shark may have been confused that led to this attack. It is not necessarily the case that you would see more of these. Uh, it's just that the circumstances were right or unfortunately or, uh, for the lady uh, were right for that animal to bump into somebody uh, over the holiday. The zoo's aquarium curator says despite what happened, swimmers around here shouldn't fear getting in the water. It's really sore, like any bite would be. But Corey Robertson says she's going to be okay, but this scar, she says, has scarred her from ever wanting to put more than just her feet in the water.